everyone, my name is James Marino from thegeekshelp.webs.com. My name is James Marino again. Uh, we're going to look at Access 2013 today. I don't use Access very much. I've never used it. Um, I, I never had it in 2010 uh, suit, but I am going to start using it right now. So let's go to a blank desktop um, database. It's going to load up, and here we have it. It's, it's kind of like Excel. I haven't used it much, so I really don't know. Let's go to the uh, the saving options. You can save as, save as database, access database, 2000, 2000, 2003, package and sign, backup database, SharePoint. And then you can sh save as uh, just a PDF or just a, um, a database file. Um, right now, we have all these now up here. It's, it's, it's basically the same. Here's the, um, the font up here. Let's see what this button does. This was not on the last version. This little button was on the other ver was on the other parts, like um, the other parts, like over here, clipboard and stuff like that. But it was not on font, so that's very new. Um, so if we type something, it's not like Word where just where it flows. It still it looks very mechanical. If you see Microsoft Word, you can see how good the flow is when you type. But this does not have it. I think the only suit in Microsoft Office 2013 is Word that has that. Uh, and basically, Word is what uh, most people use the most. Okay, so um, internal data and stuff like that. You can uh, go from Excel, stuff like that. Um, you can get a PDF. You can get in there. You can put an email. Uh, you can save it as an email, access, stuff like that. Uh, again, I don't know much about access. But that's what it is. All right. Again, my name is James Reno from the thegeekshelp.webs.com. And if I'm not me, then who the hell am I? The quote of the day for today. Thank you and have a great day.